just days before the Democratic convention in Philadelphia, WikiLeaks is exposing the Democratic Party for the frauds that they really are. So, for example, Hillary Clinton claimed that she never sent or received classified information. Uh, the DNC maintained that it was entirely neutral throughout the primary process, and they never tried to slander Bernie Sanders. Well, new leaks from WikiLeaks proves that that is a complete lie. They leaked almost 20,000 emails from the DNC's email database. Now, what you can do here is you can search for any term. You could search for Bernie uh, and so much emails will come up. So there's a lot in here that's pretty damaging. I haven't gone through all of them, obviously, because 20,000, <laughs> that's a lot. However, um, there is some stuff in here that is incredibly telling. So there's direct evidence of media collusion with the DNC as political writer Kenneth Vogel sent an advanced copy of one of his articles to the DNC communications director, Luis Miranda, although he didn't actually change much of the story. Well, this is a violation of journalistic ethics, and it shows that the DNC asked people about it within the DNC and said that they can kind of push back on certain portions of the story. Now, communications director Luis Miranda was trying to create a narrative that Bernie Sanders' campaign was a mess. Now, there's also an email where DNC officials were trying to figure out Bernie Sanders' religion and had speculated that he was an atheist and wanted to attack him for that. Now, let me just remind you, this is from the DNC. They claimed that they were neutral the whole time, but they're looking for things to attack Bernie Sanders on, someone who was running for the nomination in their party. So this is really, really a bombshell. Now, one email revealed uh, that they were outraged at the fact that Mika Brzezinski asked Debbie Wasserman Schultz to step down and they wanted an apology and Debbie Wasserman Schultz wanted to call Phil Griffin, the president of MSNBC, to get her to apologize. Now, Debbie Wasserman Schultz contacted Chuck Todd about something she wanted to discuss with him pertaining to Mika's comments and asked him to contact DNC communications director Luis Miranda and he questioned whether or not it's a good idea to do that since obviously it's collusion. Now, they even talked badly about Senator Claire McCaskill, who endorsed Hillary Clinton, and they said that she has no backbone since she defended Bernie supporters uh, during the Nevada debacle uh, from the DNC's lies that chairs were thrown and that they were getting violent. Now, another email shows that they certainly weren't neutral and that Bernie's campaign manager is good at deflecting criticism and that they needed to counter this. Now, you also have Debbie Wasserman Schultz referring to Jeff Weaver, Bernie Sanders' campaign campaign manager as an ass. You have Debbie Wasserman Schultz sharing talking points about the criticisms she's received about not remaining neutral and about the limited debate schedule. Now, also in one email, communications director Luis Miranda mocked Bernie Sanders for wanting to have a debate in California, replying LOL in response to an article someone emailed to him when Bernie Sanders talked about wanting a debate with Hillary Clinton in California after she agreed to it. Emails also show the reaction to the resolution that many Maine passed to abolish superdelegates. So DNC officials referred to it as lunacy and that Maine has no jurisdiction to do so. Now, there's also just general shit talking about Bernie Sanders. Again, since there's 20,000 emails to go through, I can't go through them all. So if you see anything that's important, please tweet them to me at Human Support on Twitter. Link me to them, screen cap them, whatever you can do to get them to me. And I will make an additional video covering them if I see anything that is pertinent to this election. Now, also, I want to send a thank you to Kenny Couch, who is at Redneck Blue Vote on Twitter, and Zaid Jelani from The Intercept for digging up a lot of these more important emails. So this revealed everything that we were complaining about throughout the election cycle. And what did they tell us? They told us that we were conspiracy theorists, that we were getting out our tinfoil hats for nothing, and that the DNC was in fact neutral. The Democratic National Committee are, is neutral when it comes to this primary. Why the fuck you lying? Why? You literally tried to dig up dirt on Bernie Sanders. You literally tried to attack him for being an atheist, which is just morally reprehensible, by the way, because being an atheist is not bad. In fact, I'd, I'd say that it's good to get representation to the atheist community since we have none in Congress. <laughs> My question to the viewers is, how excited are you now uh, to hear them speak about party unity at the DNC convention in Philadelphia in the next couple of days. Are you excited now? They're going to cry about party unity. They're going to cry about how dangerous and scary Donald Trump is.
What we found now is just the tip of the iceberg. We do not know the extent of bias that we'll find throughout all 20,000 of these emails, but best believe that we're going to dig through it and we're going to find whatever's left. Uh, but what we found already in the first day is so disturbing, but not surprising. So why does this qualify Hillary Clinton to be the Democratic nominee if the process was inherently unfair, if the process was inherently undemocratic? How could she be the party's nominee? Why is it that we have to fall in line? Why is it that Bernie Sanders had to endorse her after all of this? It's not fair. It's absolutely not fair. And it's also unethical. The fact that there's media collusion and whatnot. You know, all I can say is Jill 2016, because I refuse to support a party that condones this type of behavior. I refuse to fall in line after being abused throughout the course of the primary. I've said this before in a previous episode, but if you could rehold this election under fair conditions where name recognition was equal between Bernie and Hillary, where the debate schedule wasn't limited, where there wasn't mass election fraud, it'd probably be the case that Bernie would have won. So in my opinion, this should disqualify Hillary Clinton from being the Democratic nominee, because this is just not fair. How can you expect voters to fall in line? How can you, can you even ask for party unity after this is revealed. Now, have they said anything yet? At the time of me posting this video, we have zero response from anyone at the DNC, from Hillary Clinton's campaign. Who knows? And, uh, you know, we don't know if they're even going to mention it or acknowledge it. The Democratic National Committee are, is neutral when it comes to this primary. <laughs> the Democratic National Committee are, is neutral when it comes to this primary. The Democratic National Committee is neutral when it comes to this primary.